Hi folks, Brian Strausser from Bright Path here with a brief update on Hurricane Irma and some things companies should think about in the coming weeks as they begin to restore operations in the impacted areas. As you've probably seen from news and weather reports, Irma is currently a Category 3 hurricane expected to regain strength and become a Category 4 hurricane before impacting southern Florida over the next 12 to 24 hours and then moving north through the entire state of Florida into Georgia and some impact in South Carolina before the storm dissipates over Middle Tennessee and states to the north in the coming days. Whereas before, lots of concern was pointed at the city of Miami and Miami-Dade County as being the areas most likely to be hardest hit by Hurricane Irma, with the westerly shift of the storm, the area of greatest concern now is southwestern Florida up the coast to Tampa, where we expect to see the brunt of the force of the hurricane in terms of wind, rain, and storm surges that could exceed 10 to 15 feet from the coast inland, causing significant flooding. The real challenge, though, beyond dealing with the landfall and the life safety implications of, of sheltering and evacuation, will be what happens after Irma has passed through and dissipated. We'll see FEMA and state and local um, public safety personnel engage in life-saving rescue operations, likely for several days, and then the focus will begin to shift from that towards critical infrastructure restoration. How do we get roads and bridges inspected and reopened? How do we get debris removed so folks can get back into their neighborhoods and their, their places of work and employment? How do we get kids back into school and the schools back up and running? And this will all shift over time then to a long-term recovery that's likely to take years for the impacted areas. The big challenge for businesses will be both understanding what that process is going to look like but also getting the information you need to get your business back up and running. What are the focuses of emergency management? What are, they, what are they communicating? What's the process to gain access and credentials to let you into the impacted areas so that you can assess your damage and get critical supplies into your stores and places of business and manufacturer? There is a ton of different resources that are out there from city, county, state, and federal emergency management, transportation, commerce, energy, and others. There's also going to be the challenge of, this is likely going to be one of the biggest uh, electrical outages in our history. More than half the state of Florida is expected to lose power. We expect millions to have to wait for power restoration that will likely take days, if not weeks, to fully restore. These are all challenges that businesses will need to deal with in the coming days, not to mention the need to just make sure that all your folks are okay. Uh, and you've accounted for all of your employees and the damages that they may have to their homes and vehicles and families. These are all areas where we can help you. We have decades of experience on our team here at Bright Path in managing major hurricanes going back to Hurricane Katrina, Rita, Wilma, Irene, Sandy, Matthew, and then Harvey just a few weeks ago in the Texas area. We have the expertise to help provide advice as you deal with problems help keep your executives calm as you work through these challenges in front of you, and even to provide customized weather and storm briefings and post-recovery briefings so that you have the information you need to get your business back up and running. If you'd like to learn more about our capabilities and experience, visit brightpath.com hurricanes or give us a call for a quick chat at 612-235-6435. We're here to help you and we wish you the best of luck in the coming days.